no escape. Nor do we want it. We've come to thrive on it and each other. You can't get the adrenaline pumping without the terror, good people. Is Nicolas Cage becoming a new horror icon? I, I know that sounds really weird, but... You know, the last couple movies he's done have been really cool horror movies. And I don't think it's obviously the only ones he's ever done before. He's done some other ones before in the past, but nobody would ever call him a genre actor, a horror actor before. You know, I remember growing up, I would watch movies with him like National Treasure and Ghost Rider. But, you know, I remember a few years ago, this movie came out. It was called Mandy. And I remember I was hesitant to grab it matter of fact i didn't grab it for a few days after it came out maybe a week or so because i was like "Eh, that's nick cage what is that going to be about Eh, it's probably some like you know kind of like adventure movie some kind of you know whatever uh and then sure enough i keep seeing the images from this movie online and i was like wait up cult psychedelic what weapons fighting blood gore what (laughs) so then i grabbed mandy This movie was amazing, and, you know, I think it's really the catalyst that sparked the kind of career path he's going towards now. Mandy is really one of the best horror movies of the last couple years. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, wow. I mean, when it comes to the year it came out, which is 2017, I would put it in the top five of the entire year. And it seemingly came out of nowhere for me. I had no idea that Nick Cage was soireeing into horror. I had no idea he was wanting to do that. I knew he was a superhero superhero fan. He liked the comic books and stuff like that. But I had no idea that he was going to jump into like this type of movie making. This type of movie. Just real legitimate horror. And good horror too, you know? So this movie really kind of like took me by surprise and blew me blew me right away. I was shocked when I saw this. You know, there are Dario Argento vibes in this movie. I never thought I would use the word Dario Argento and Nicolas Cage in a movie in the same sentence before, but sure enough, you know, this movie has all these psychedelic themes. The The color scheme in this movie is just like, I mean, it's just like it's from Suspiria. There's a cult in here that's really trippy. What a movie. You know, this is a legitimate, like, you know, bona fide horror fans horror movie. Blew me away. So for Nick Cage to do something like this, I was shocked. Really cool. And then I thought maybe, you know, maybe that's one thing he's just doing and he'll go back to, you know, whatever whatever Paramount's going to do for him next or Universal Pictures, whatever they may do next, blah, blah, blah. Sure enough, then all of a sudden, I hear about Color Out of Space, an H.P. Lovecraft story that Nicolas Cage is doing. I was like, what is going on? Is Nicolas Cage, like, trying to become, like, is he getting into this horror stuff because... You know, I'm thinking to myself initially, oh, he's got money troubles. You always hear that Nick Cage has money troubles, which could be true. I'm not really sure. I don't know too much about his personal finances or the stories thereof. But I was like, oh, he's just taking these roles because he needs to pay off debt or whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's the consensus I would hear online. I don't really know. But sure enough, here comes a movie called Color Out of Space. And I was like, well, uh, what's going on now? (laughs) So I watched Color Out of Space, and I really liked it. You know, it's an H.P. Lovecraft story after a meteorite lands in the front yard of their farm. Nathan and his family find themselves battling a mutant extraterrestrial organism as it infects their minds and bodies. And if you thought Mandy was weird, Colorado Space gets even weirder. Massive blob humanoids that his wife turns into. Really weird animals, alpacas that he raises. <laughs> it's an alpaca, you know, kind of quirky, kind of funny, but insane. H.P. Lovecraft, what else do you need to know? Um, But yeah, and then sure enough, this went on Shudder, which is a (laughs) pure streaming site for horror movies. What's going on with Nicolas Cage? I'm not complaining. This is actually really cool. I'm thrilled, you know, to go from a movie like Mandy and thinking, okay, this is just this one-off he's doing. He Maybe he liked the script. Maybe he just needed to pay something off. Maybe he just... Couldn't get a movie with one of the big studios. You'd never really know. Then you watch it and you're like, holy smokes, this is amazing. This is scary. This is just gorgeous. This is, you know, gorific. And then you say to yourself, well, that's it. And then Colorado Space comes right behind it. 
What a one-two punch. He's really doing some great stuff in the world of horror. I couldn't believe it. And I loved this movie. I think I like Mandy a little bit more, but, you know, Color Out of Space, what a follow-up to a movie like Mandy. I thought it was great. And then, sure enough, here I am again. I'm saying to myself, well, that's two horror movies he's doing. He'll probably try to go do something else and whatever. Then comes something I never expected, Willie's Wonderland. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. There's no way that Nicolas Cage is doing a movie about, you know, the haunted animatronics at a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant. That's There's no way. Well, not only does he do it, but he doesn't speak a word in the film. <laughs> what is happening? What is Nicolas Cage doing right now? Um, I can say this. I'm thrilled. I'm so happy. I'm such a big Nick Cage fan now. This era of Nick Cage is so important, I think, for the world of horror right now. I think he can become a horror icon if he stays on this path of doing these really cool horror movies. Obviously, Willy's Wonderland, it was probably the weakest out of these three movies, but I loved it. You know, here's a guy who wrecks his car. He he gets a, his tire goes bad. He goes to a body shop. Guy's like, ah, don't take plastic, but you can go work it off and clean up this, this, this Chuck E. Cheese restaurant overnight. So he does it. And he plays he plays pinball when he takes his breaks. He drinks grape soda all night, and he doesn't say a word the whole movie. I always wondered, like, I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if Nick Cage liked it, wanted to do this movie but didn't want to say a line or didn't like the, maybe he didn't like the dialogue that he had. He was like, I just cut all of it out, cut all the dialogue out. I don't need it. But what, a, what, an, interesting, what an interesting film. You don't get to see many movies where your lead actor doesn't say a word where everybody else around him does. Maybe Rambo or something, but even Rambo speaks when he needs to. This guy doesn't say one word. I loved Willy's Wonderland. But it's like, it's interesting. I can't really tell where Nick Cage is going next. I mean, three in a row, I, I would anticipate he's doing another horror movie next. But what? You know, I always felt that, you know, these two kind of go hand in hand. They're both really weird, mystical, awesome films. And then he does Willie's Wonderland, where he is a cool guy who plays pinball, drinks grape soda, and beats up animatronics that try to kill him. You know, where are we going next with Nick Cage? I don't know, but I got to say that I'm just really thrilled. I don't know about you guys, but this is cool. I would love for Nick Cage to become the next horror icon, that middle-aged bad son of a gun like Charles Bronson or Tom Atkins or Bruce Campbell. I think this could be really cool for the horror fans. You know, we need something like that. I feel like we're missing that right now. So I think this is great. Uh, Nick Cage, keep going. Make more horror movies. Because I'm really thrilled with this. I, I think these are three really fun movies. If you haven't seen them, I definitely say going with Mandy is a great way to go. And I think it's the best out of these three. This movie blew me away and got praised across the board by fans and critics alike. And then Color Out of Space dropped a little bit out of favor with some of the critics. But fan-wise, it still seems like a lot of people like it. This one's polarizing. Some people like it. Some people don't like it at all. I really like it. I do think it's the weakest out of these three, but I liked it so much. It's perfect. It is what it is. It's Willie's Wonderland. It's about a guy who has to work overnight at a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant where the animatronics are haunted and they kill people. So just have fun. But Nick Cage, where are you going next? What's next? I don't know. <laughs> Only time will tell, but at this point, I would say he's probably going to be doing another horror movie. 